all right so i'm live now and i hope uh, everyone can hear me now today we will be discussing we will be studying the story sparrows which is in the syllabus of class 11 additional uh, english i'm sorry this will be class 11 okay i made a small mistake here actually this will be class 11 in fact okay okay class 11 uh, additional english sparrows written by k a abbas it's a very beautiful story a very emotional story and uh, all of you will like the story anyways without much delay let us start the story very fast okay so story in brief now i have gone page by page here many happy page by page explanation kiya hai taki aap sab logo ko objective mein thoda sa madad mil jaye so that all of you get <coughs> help in the objective type uh, questions and answers okay so please uh, uh, the english presentation is here on the screen uh, those who uh, those of you who cannot follow uh, hindi so much you can also look at the screen for the english explanation i will be obviously explaining in english only and uh, in between hindi also okay for all of you to understand better class 11 additional english all right so let us learn the story in brief now without much delay so here the story actually starts and the story teaches us how to give love and affection to fellow human beings so this story hame ye sikhata hai ki hum apne jo fellow human beings hain uh, unke prati hum love aur affection hame show karna chahiye we should show our love and affection to our fellow human beings to our neighbors to friends uh, family members relatives okay this story teaches us and as you uh, read the story and uh, as i'll uh, complete the story uh, uh, fully here and this video is going to be little long so i would like to request all the students to have patience and uh, watch the video okay this is a very emotional story okay bahut hi emotional kahani hai so here our central character is rahim khan hamara jo main character hai he is rahim he is rahim khan and he is a farmer to rahim khan ek farmer hai and he is 50 years old okay this ka matlab hai he is quite old 50 years old means he is quite old okay so rahim khan is a farmer and he is 50 years old now the story begins with Rahim Khan returning from his field with a plow on his shoulder and his two oxen. Okay, jab kahani shuru hota, when the story begins, you will see that Rahim Khan is coming from his field. He's a farmer basically, he's coming from his field. And as every farmers do, he has a plow on his shoulder and two oxen. Uh, two oxen, I'm sorry, two oxen for farming. Okay, do bell or hull jo hai, wo kande pe leke, wo ghar pe return ho raha hai. Now in the village Chopal, Chopal is actually a place where villagers meet and like they gossip, okay, Chopal. Like we have community halls and all these things, so Chopal is something like that, okay, where all the villagers will come and sit, they will gossip, okay. So in the village Chopal, some other peasants, some other farmers are also sitting and they are gossiping. So kuch aur bhi peasants se, kuch aur bhi farmers se, Chopal baat ke, thore gapshab maar rahe ek dousre ke saath. Suddenly their gossips, actually they were talking loudly, okay, but suddenly, their gossips, their talking actually turned into whispers. When they saw Rahim Khan passing by that way, जब उन्होंने देखा Rahim Khan को उस तरफ से वो Rahim Khan pass हो रहा है, तो suddenly they stopped talking and not stopped talking actually, their talking turned into soft whispers. तो वो लोग बिल्कुल कुछ 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 करके वो लोग बात कर रहे हैं जब उन्होंने Rahim Khan को देखा. That means they are afraid of Rahim Khan. Okay, all the villagers actually they are afraid of Rahim Khan. अब वो क्यों Rahim Khan uh, say darte hai, iska ek bahut bara hai. I'll tell you why. Everyone in the village hated Rahim Khan because of his impolite and cruel behavior. Impolite, cruel, in fact, we can put another word also, harsh behavior. So, Rahim Khan ka behavior bahut kharaab is. His behavior is very bad. He never talked to people nicely. He never talked to people politely. That, that is why nobody talked to him. Koi Rahim Khan se baat nahi karta hai. And everybody is uh, quite afraid of Rahim Khan also. He is unkind to everybody, including children and even animals also. So he is, this Rahim Khan, this fellow is not kind to anybody. He is unkind, impolite to everybody. Even children and animals also. He will always beat the children. He will always uh, beat the animals also. Even his oxen also. He would always beat them. Alright. 
एंड नो बडी हैव द करेज टू टॉक टू हिम बिकॉज ऑफ हिस्स बिहेवियर तो जैसे कि मैंने बताया आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू दैट नो बडी हैड द करेज टू टॉक टू हिम बिकॉज ऑफ हिस्स हार्श बिहेवियर कोई उससे बात करने की जरूरत नहीं करता था करेज नहीं रखता था इसलिए क्योंकि उसका बिहेवियर बिल्कुल जो है बहुत बुरा था बर्ताव बहुत बुरा था सबके साथ नाउ व्हेन विलेजर्स गैदर्ड इन द चौपाल एंड दे सॉ हिम अप्रोचिंग द रिमार्क देयर गोज द हार्ड हार्टेड टेबल तो वो लोग जो है धीरे धीरे बात कर रहे थे दे वर टॉकिंग वेरी सॉफ्टली से रहीम खान इज गोइंग दिस वे एंड द विलेजर्स आर सिटिंग इन द चौपाल एंड दे टॉकिंग एंड व्हेन से रहीम खान ही पास बाय एंड द विलेजर्स से इट वन ऑफ द विलेजर्स एक्चुअली वुड से दैट देयर गोज द हार्ड हार्टेड टेबल ओके हार्ड हार्टेड डेविल मतलब आपको पता है कि पत्थर दिल इंसान देखो वो पत्थर दिल इंसान जा रहा है ही डज नॉट हैव यू नो ही डज नॉट शो गुड बिहेवियर विद द पीपल एंड वन फैट स्वीट सेलर इज देयर हिज नेम इज नन्हा ओके ही गिव्स वन इंफॉर्मेशन तो वो बताता है बाकी विलेजर्स लोगों को दैट ही इज गेटिंग ही मतलब हियर ही मींस रहीम खान ओके रहीम खान सो रहीम खान इज गेटिंग वर्स एंड वर्स एवरी डे वो बत्तर से भी बत्तर होता जा रहा है ठीक है नन्हा जो है वो एक स्वीट सेलर है वो बाकी विलेजर्स लोगों को चुपके चुपके बोलता है हिस्स टेल्स वेरी सॉफ्टली टू द अदर फार्मर्स टू द अदर विलेजर्स दैट दिस रहीम खान बिहेवियर इज गेटिंग वर्स डे बाय डे एवरी डे हिज बिहेवियर इज गेटिंग वेरी हार्श वेरी क्रूअल नन्हा ऑल्सो गिव्स अनदर इन्फॉर्मेशन तो नन्ना एक और इन्फॉर्मेशन सप्लाई करते हैं टू द अदर फार्मर्स दैट द प्रीवियस डे रहीम खान हैड बीटेन रामू चाइल्ड फॉर थ्रोइंग अ स्टोन एट रहीम ऑक्सेन तो रहीम खान जो एक बैल है रहीम खान ऑक्सेन तो वन बॉय हु इज रामू चाइल्ड दैट स्मॉल किड एक्चुअली ही थ्रू वन स्टोन एट रहीम ऑक्सेन फॉर दैट रहीम खान बिकेम सो एंग्री दैट ही स्टार्टेड बीटिंग दैट पुअर चाइल्ड यू सी सो एंड नो बडी कुड फाइट विथ हिम बिकॉज ही वॉज क्वाइट फैट ऑल्सो दिस रहीम खान वॉज क्वाइट फैट ऑल्सो हेल्दी ऑल्सो एंड हिज बिहेवियर वॉज सो बैड दैट नो वन इवन वॉन्टेड टू पिक अ फाइट विथ हिम कोई इससे झगड़ा भी मोल लेना नहीं चाहता था ठीक है Even the zaildar, who is Ramna, okay, his mare. Mare means a baby horse, okay, a baby horse. So even Ramna's baby horse also was nearly killed by Rahim because the animal had strayed in his field. So, see, how bad this person is. Rahim Khan is so cruel that he was almost, he almost wanted to kill this baby horse because Rahim Khan had strayed in his field. So, see, how bad this person is. Rahim Khan is so cruel that he was almost, he almost wanted to kill this baby horse. Rahim Khan had strayed in his field. because that baby horse had by chance entered rahim's uh, field okay for this petty small reason he wanted to kill that animal so rahim khan is basically a very cruel uh, person you see now one old man his name is patel now he also informs that because of rahim's cruelty his own sons have run away from him matlab rahim khan not is not only cruel to the village people but rahim khan is cruel to his own family members In fact, Rahim Khan's Rahim Khan had two sons actually. Okay, Bundu and Nuru. Bundu and Nuru. These are two sons of Rahim Khan. And Rahim Khan was so cruel to his own sons that one day actually what happened? His own sons, this Bundu and Nuru, they ran away from home. And they never came to meet meet his father, their father uh, afterwards. ठीक है? तो Bundu and Nuru. दोनों जो है रहीम खान के बेटे थे और दोनों घर छोड़ के चले गए क्योंकि रहीम खान उनको बहुत मारता पीटता था रहीम खान यू टू बीट देम एक्सेसिव बीटिंग रहीम खान यू टू गिव टू हिज ओन सन्स एंड दैट इज वाई हिज टू सन्स रैन अवे फ्रॉम होम नाउ ओनली रहीम खान एंड हिज वाइफ लिव सो इट वॉज ओनली रहीम खान एंड हिज वाइफ हु वॉज लिविंग इन अ स्मॉल हट एक्चुअली एक छोटे से घर में ये हसबेंड वाइफ दोनों रहते थे नाउ रहीम खान घर आया फ्रॉम हिज फील्ड रहीम खान एंटर डिज हाउस एंड वेन यू वॉज about to open his door when he was about to enter his house one old women came from behind and called rahim khan okay to jaise hi rahim khan ghar ke andar ghusne wala hai ghusne wala hota hai ek buri aurat jo hai rahim khan ke piche khada hai khari hai aur wo rahim khan ko bolti hai ki hey rahim khan uh, rahim ji rahim khan becomes angry because he's all the time he's angry only and he never talks politely to anybody so rahim khan very impolitely Rahim Khan asked her very impolitely with a series of questions that why are you here why are you calling me why are you standing behind me why are you calling come on talk talk bolo tum chup kyu ho bolo tum dar kyu rahe ho bolo tell why are you afraid of me tell you know in this kind of this in you know in this way Rahim Khan started uh, in fact interrogating this old lady and this old lady became little afraid also but then she gave a very shocking information ye jo buri aurat hai this 
the old lady is also neighbor of rahim khan now this old lady suddenly gives rahim khan the information that your wife has run away okay so finally along with his two sons do bete to pehle hi bhag chuke the two sons had already run away many many years before now his wife also ran away unable to bear the torture unable to bear the torture his wife also ran away uska uski biwi uska biwi bhi bhag gaya tha kyun kyunki uski biwi ko bhi rahim khan bahut maarta tha ghar pe bahut maarta tha you know rahim khan used to beat his wife also so much that finally today his wife also ran away so this old women gave this information okay now this old women actually he was so much afraid of rahim's reaction because after giving this information that your wife is run away the old women now suddenly got afraid that rahim khan would now blame this lady would now blame this women that because of you only my wife has run away maybe you said something to her maybe you provoked her to run away that is my that is why my wife has run away so suddenly the old women this old lady she felt that oh rahim khan will blame me now so she checked her sentence and she said that no no your wife has maybe only gone to her brother's house or oh, she will return back very soon okay aise uske wife ne kaha aise is old lady ne kaha ki nahi nahi theek hai agar shayad tumhara wife thoda sa uske bhai ke ghar pe gaya hoga jo noorpur mein hai okay maybe your wife has gone to her brother's house in noorpur ah, she will come back don't worry don't worry saying this that old lady went away okay she was so afraid of rahim khan she went away However, Rahim Khan knew that his wife would never come back like his sons. So Rahim Khan को अंदर ही अंदर ये पता था कि मेरे दो बेटे तो पहले ही जा चुके थे. अब ये जो मेरी wife है, ये भी चली गई. अब ये फिर से वापस नहीं आएंगे. Okay, Rahim Khan knew inside that like my two sons, my wife will also never come back. I am now all alone in this world. So Rahim Khan entered the house very silently. He was extremely angry. See, generally if we would have, we would expect that rahim khan would become very sad right because wife has gone away but no the case is not that he rahim khan was extremely angry and he did not care he felt that like when our furnitures become old no there is a sentence in the story which says that like our furnitures are old what do we do we throw them away or maybe at one point of time uh, they break so he considered his wife to be just like furnitures only okay when they become old we throw them out of the house so my wife has become she was like a furniture only of no use now all right and he was extremely angry now look at his anger look at his anger he showed his anger now there was nobody on whom uh, rahim khan could show his anger right koi nahi tha jis pe rahim khan apna gussa utar paaye isliye rahim khan ne kya kiya ghar pe ek billi uska tha kahi pe kahi se gussa tha from somewhere a poor cat had entered Rahim Khan showed his anger on the poor cat by throwing it outside and slammed the door. So Rahim Khan ne kya kiya? Wo us billi ko uthaya, us billi ko utha ke bahar phek diya. Okay? Anuchai Singh, hi, good evening, good evening, good evening. Bright Banvi Singh, hello, hello. Long, long time no see. Okay? Uh, actually, I brought this video live for all of you because there were, you know, little problems with editing. I'm having a lot of work also. Uh, our half yearly exams are also over. and i am also having a lot of work actually that is why i am coming directly live with the video okay and i am definite that uh, this will help you like it has always help you okay aniket baruai saying good evening good evening good evening to all of you good evening to all of you all right now here you see what is happening so he what did uh, rahim khan do he picked the poor cat and threw it outside and he close the door slam the door very hardly close the door very hardly now there was no one to look after rahim now so obviously children had gone sons had gone sons had left him long time back because of his torture now wife also left left him because of torture because of the torture and there is no doubt that his children and wife had left him because of his harshness towards them obviously see it, this is there is no doubt that because of rahim khan's torture his children two sons and wife now wife they have run away because of his harshness towards them now rahim khan is all alone and now rahim khan is remembering the past to so rahim khan baith ke jo hai he is all alone now and he is now remembering the past wo apna past yaad kar raha hai to so rahim khan remembers that 6 years ago 
his eldest son whose name is bundu had run away because rahim khan had beaten him severely okay to bundu uska bada beta hai wo 6 saal pehle bhag gaya tha ghar se 6 years ago his eldest son bundu ran away because rahim khan had beaten him very severely bahut bure tarike se usko mara tha and what happened after 3 years after 3 years his younger son nuru also left home uska chhota beta nuru jo tha वो भी तीन साल पहले घर छोड़ के चला गया तो सिक्स इयर्स बिफोर सिक्स इयर्स अगो बुंडू लेफ्ट एंड थ्री इयर्स बिफोर नूरू लेफ्ट यू नो द हाउस बिकॉज ऑफ रहीम टॉर्चर बिकॉज ऑफ देयर फादर्स टॉर्चर रहीम वॉज नॉट लाइक ही इज टूडे वेन ही वॉज अ यंग बॉय ही वॉज गुड एंड पोलाइट तो रहीम जब करीब बीस साल का होगा वेन रहीम वॉज अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड अ यंग बॉय he was not like that he was very good he was very good he was very good he was very polite also then something maybe happened because of which he became so harsh so impolite so cruel theek hai na koi circumstances ki koi reason hota hai jisse aadmi ka jo hai behavior mein kuch changes aata hai maybe because of certain circumstances because of certain uh, uh, you know problems in life uh, behavior Uh, changes okay now we are going to learn what the reason was for which Ram, uh, rahim khan became uh, so impolite so cruel to so, main ye now this is a story which goes 30 years back ye 30 saal ek purana kahani hai this is a story which goes 30 years back okay to so, agar if if rahim khan is now 50 years old and if you uh, deduct 30 that means 30 साल तीस साल पहले थर्टी इयर्स बैक रहीम खान वॉज ट्वेंटी इयर्स ओल्ड यंग बॉय ओके नाउ एज अंग बॉय रहीम खान वॉन्टेड टू ज्वाइन सर्कस एंड रहीम खान वॉज इन लव विथ अ हिंदू गर्ल हुम वॉज राधा तो बचपन में मतलब जब वो एक यंग बॉय था तब रहीम खान सर्कस ज्वाइन करना चाहता था और उसी टाइम जो है uh, उसे एक लड़के से प्यार भी हो गया था और वो एक हिंदू लड़की थी जिसका नाम राधा था Now Rahim is Muslim and he fell in love with a Hindu girl, Radha. Who is Radha? Radha was the daughter of Ram Charan, who is the village Baniya. Baniya is a merchant caste actually, जो ये सब you know business वगैरह करता है, उसे हम Baniya caste कहते हैं. तो Radha जो है, वो Ram Charan की बेटी थी, daughter of Ram Charan. And who is Ram Charan? Ram Charan was the village Baniya, merchant. Okay. Uh, but rahim was utterly disappointed up now rahim obviously he went and told his parents his own parents that i love a girl called radha and i want to join circus but he was utterly disappointed his family did not approve both things rahim was disappointed utterly disappointed firstly because his parents considered the circus was a very low kind of job bahut niche 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 type ka ye job hai bahut low प्रोफाइल का ये जॉब है और फार्मर जो है वो थोड़े से हाई लेवल के हैं और ये बहुत लो लेवल का जॉब है सो हिज पेरेंट्स रिफ्यूज हिम हिज पेरेंट्स डिड नॉट गिव हिम द परमिशन हिज पेरेंट्स टोल्ड हिम दैट नो यू कैन नॉट जॉइन सर्कस बिकॉज सर्कस इज अ वेरी लो काइंड ऑफ जॉब सेकेंड रीजन ऑफ डिसअपॉइंटमेंट इज दैट राधा वॉज अ हिंदू वर्ल्ड विल वी ऑल नो सो दे डिड नॉट अप्रूव राधा सो राधा वॉज नॉट अप्रूव बाई रहीम्स Uh, parents because she was a Hindu girl and they considered Hindus as kafir. Okay, they considered Hindus as kafir. Kafir uh, means uh, you know outsider also. Kafir means irreligious also. Okay, they considered uh, that you have to marry a girl from your own religion, from your own community only. You cannot marry a Hindu, marry a Hindu girl. So both his circus dream of joining circus. and radha his love okay both were rejected by uh, rahim's parents so for some time you see rahim rebelled against his family and protested for their refusal to so rahim jo hai in between you see for some times for some days he uh, like uh, picked a fight with his uh, mother with his father also because they have they had rejected both circus and radha okay but then finally rahim had to surrender so soon he had to give up his dreams for both circus and radha because his family was adamant that no you cannot join circus and you cannot marry radha also circus you cannot join because circus is a very low level job and radha is a hindu girl because of these two reasons 
Now Radha was very soon married off to a middle-aged pot belly. Pot belly मतलब बड़ा पेट, okay, which looks like a pot, okay. And uh, so uh, this this man's name was called Ramlal. So Radha was married to a, see Radha was a very young girl, or at almost around twenty only eighteen twenty. So a very young girl uh, came to be married to a very middle-aged pot belly, mota sai, baniya. Again that same cast as uh radha's father okay and this man's first called ramlal so ramlal became radha's husband radha was also very sad but soon she had to surrender you see in village uh families which are very orthodox they don't allow these kind of uh, marriages okay so finally radha being a girl she had to surrender and she proceeded with her married life okay she went on with her married life she was now married and soon she gave birth to around Half a dozen children. In your book, it is written half a dozen. So dozen is twelve. Half a dozen is around six children. So Radha gave birth to six children. Uh, she was doing all the duties of wife. Okay, and uh, slowly, uh, Rahim lost all connection with Radha. Okay, and meanwhile here, Rahim's parents thought that everything will be all because Rahim was still very angry because Rahim's parents had not accepted uh, Radha and Sarkas, especially Radha. Okay. Uh, so Rahim's father thought that uh, if Rahim is uh, married to somebody, then Rahim will become okay, all right. Okay, so they fixed, they chose a girl for Rahim, and they fixed the date of marriage, made all the necessary arrangements. Then, according to the Muslim uh, tradition, the nikah, nikah is wedding. The nikah was performed. So, जैसे Muslim tradition में होता है, ये nikah perform किया गया. Rahim was now married. Now his parents also became quite relaxed. Parents be thora sa relaxed feel karne lagi ki now Rahim will forget Radha. Okay, Rahim will forget Radha. Rahim jo hai wo Radha ko bhool jayega aur Rahim will start spending good times with his uh, wife, newly wed wife. Okay, they were previously tense because of Radha only. Obviously his parents were previously tense because of uh, his love, Rahim's love with Radha. But now they became quite relaxed because Rahim was married to this new girl. But you see, Rahim was extremely angry, and he held his parents responsible for breaking his dreams of circus and Radha. Rahim, who is now very angry, Rahim was still angry because he blamed his parents. He he held his parents responsible. Uh, Rahim ne apne parents ko responsible thehra hai ki aap logon ne mera dream jo tha circus ka dream aur Radha se शादी करने का ड्रीम ये दोनों ड्रीम आप दोनों ने तोड़ा है यू ब्रोकन द ड्रीम ही इवन ब्लेम्ड ऑल हिज फैमिली मेंबर्स आल्सो ऑल फैमिली मेंबर्स इंक्लूडिंग हिज पेरेंट्स सो ही बिकेम एंग्री विद एवरीबॉडी एवरीबॉडी एंड ही नाउ यू सी व्हाट हैपेंड ही टुक आउट हिज फ्रस्ट्रेशन एंड एंगर ऑन हिज न्यूली वेड वाइफ बाय बीटिंग हर बाय बीटिंग हर सो एवरी डे यू सी रहीम खान वुड बीट हिज वाइफ Not because his wife had done any any wrong thing, okay. Not because his wife had done any wrong thing. His wife was nowhere to be blamed. उसका पत्नी का कोई दोष कोई कसूर नहीं था. लेकिन Rahim was extremely frustrated because of his family. So उसका family का गुस्सा जो है Rahim अपने wife के ऊपर उतार रहा था. His family's uh, you know uh, thing. He was actually His family's anger. He was angry on his family. See, family's ang anger. He was putting on his wife, and that was wrong. But Rahim did not understand. Rahim to bahut gusse. Wohi se shuru hua. From there, this Rahim's character of being cruel and harsh. Rahim's character of being cruel and harsh started from there. Tabhi se shuru hua ye chiz. So it was right from then. that rahim became so impolite harsh and cruel in his behavior and he blamed his family parents even the society also as a whole for killing his dreams mere sapno ko maar dala rahim sab se ye kehta phir raha tha ki mere sapno ko aap logo ne mara hai family ne mara mere parents ne mara pure society ne mere dream ko kuchal diya you crushed my dream the dream of going to circus and my dream to marry radha you all are to be blamed and he became completely a changed character now he would beat anybody and everybody he would get okay whenever he became angry and frustrated like in the beginning you see uh, because his wife ran away he threw the poor cat out of the house right so he has lost all his senses in that way okay 
तो रहीम खान वॉज नाउ ऑल अलोन नाउ लेट्स कम टू द प्रेजेंट टाइम रहीम खान इज ऑल अलोन वाइफ फाइनली वाइफ ऑल्सो रैन अवे सो रहीम खान रिमेंबर दी थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड इंसिडेंट सिटिंग अलोन इन इज हार्ट अपने घर पे बैठ के वो तीस साल पुराना इंसिडेंट को याद कर रहा था एंड रहीम खान हैड वन इमोशनल थिंग इन साइड यू सी रहीम खान ऑलवेज फेल दैट नो वन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द रीजन ऑफ माई ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम अ काइंड टू अ क्वेल पर्सन तो मैं तो पहले अच्छा था आई वॉज गुड इनिशियली इन द इन द बिगिनिंग आई वॉज गुड बट नो नो वन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड माई ड्रीम्स नो वन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड माई फीलिंग्स नो वन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड माई इमोशन तो वाई शुड आई अंडरस्टैंड अदर्स इमोशन रहीम खान को ये फील होने लगा कि अगर मेरा इमोशन मेरा फीलिंग कोई नहीं समझता है तो मैं किसी और का फीलिंग मैं किसी और का इमोशन क्यों समझू तभी से रहीम खान के अंदर ये चीज आ गया आई विल बी क्रूवल टू एवरीबडी एंड नाउ यू सी द लुक एट द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑब्वियसली रहीम खान वॉज हेटेड बाई एवरी वन क्योंकि उसका बर्ताव इतना बुरा था इतना बुरा बर्ताव था उसका उसका बिहेवियर इतना रफ था इतना हार्श था किसी के साथ वो अच्छे ठीक तरीके से बात नहीं करता था टॉक टू एनी बडी नाइसली सो एवरी बडी स्टार्टेड हेटिंग Rahim slept that day. He was little upset also, alone also. There was nobody to cook for him. There was nobody to give him water to wash his feet because he returned from the field. वो खेत से आया उसका वाइफ नहीं था उसको पानी देने के लिए खाना देने के लिए. So he slept that day. When he woke up, it was already late afternoon. तो बहुत late afternoon हो चुका था जब Rahim Khan नींद से उठा. उसने उसको भूख लगा था. He was hungry, so he ate the previous day's chapati. एंड ही मिल द गोट हिमसेल्फ ओके उसने बकरी का दूध खुद निकाला उसको गर्म किया फिर उस, उसमें जो है चपाटी उसमें डुबो के वो खाया ओके सो ही एट द प्रीवियस डेज चपाटी सोक्ट इन मिल्क विच ही हैड हिमसेल्फ कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द गोट्स देन ही सैट टू स्मोक तो वो बैठ के स्मोक करने लगा ओके सो रहीम खान लेजिली गॉट अप टू क्लियर सम कॉपेट्स टू क्लीन इज हाउस तो उस दिन रहीम खान ने सोचा कि मैं आज खेत में नहीं जाऊंगा आई विल नॉट गो टू द Feel to work. Rather, I will remain in the house. He was upset also. So suddenly he noticed that there were some cobwebs uh, just near the window, you know, uh, above window. ठीक है window के पास window के ऊपर उसने कुछ मकरी का जाला देखा. Some cobwebs, okay, spider webs. Uh, so he thought that oh, this is very dirty. Let me clean the cobwebs. Okay. So in order to clean his house, he started clearing the cobwebs. Suddenly he saw one nest. अब यही से कहानी शुरू होता है फ्रॉम हियर द स्टोरी स्टार्ट्स दैट इमोशनल पार्ट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर ओनली प्लीज स्टूडेंट्स पे अटेंशन टू दिस थिंग इट्स अ वेरी इमोशनल थिंग ओके आई एम हैविंग गूस बम्स राइट नाउ व्हेन आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस पार्ट ओके इट्स अ वेरी इमोशनल स्टोरी ही सॉ नेस्ट ऑन हिज थैचेड रूफ एंड टू स्पैरोस वेस फ्लटरिंग इन एंड आउट दिस वर मदर एंड फादर स्पैरोस ओके मां और पापा स्पैरो जो है वो फ्लटर कर रहा था दे वर फ्लटरिंग देयर विंग्स गोइंग इनसाइड द नेस्ट कमिंग आउट ऑफ द नेस्ट then suddenly rahim khan felt are what is inside the nest okay so rahim khan wanted to break the nest now rahim khan obviously his character is like that only he is very cruel so he wanted to break the nest wo usne socha ki main aaj is nest ko tod dunga but something stopped him what wo ruk gaya god knows what stopped him but something stopped him so for the first time he did not behave cruelly usne cruelly behave nahi kiya otherwise see, he was very cruel with anybody और इंस्टेड right. उसने सोचा कि लेट मी चेक द इनर पार्ट ऑफ द नेस्ट नेस्ट के अंदर थोड़ा मैं झाक के देखता हूं क्या है तो ही टुक वन स्मॉल टूल एक्चुअली वो टूल के ऊपर वो खड़ा हुआ स्टूड ऑन द टूल एंड ही डिस्कवर्ड टू बेबी स्पैरो दो बच्चे जो है स्पैरो के दो बच्चे नेस्ट में थे तो देर आर टोटल फोर स्पैरो मदर स्पैरो फादर स्पैरो एंड देर टू बेबी स्पैरो नाउ ऑब्वियसली मदर स्पैरो एंड फादर स्पैरो their parents actually were screaming loudly at rahim's face actually they were afraid that rahim would attack the rahim would attack rahim would uh, cause harm to the two babies okay and he would break the nest also so this mother sparrow became very angry also on uh, rahim okay so suddenly the mother sparrow attacked rahim you know for the fear of being uh, killed for the fear of being harmed the mother sparrow attacked on rahim's face actually now rahim became very agitated became very very angry okay this made rahim very angry but he was surprised to see how desperate the mother sparrow was to save her children and home pehli baar pehli baar uh pehli baar rahim 
को गुस्सा बहुत आया रहीम खान एक्चुअली हैड बिकम वेरी एंग्री बट ही वॉज वेरी मच सरप्राइज टू सी वो बहुत सरप्राइज हो गया ये देख के दैट दिस मदर स्पैरो स्मॉल टाइनी स्पैरो आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू सीन स्पैरो टाइनी बर्ड हाउ दैट टाइनी मदर स्पैरो वॉज सो मच डेस्परेट टू सेव हर चिल्ड्रेन एंड होम तो अपने बच्चों को और घर को बचाने के लिए मदर स्पैरो कितना डेस्परेट हो गया दैट ही स्टार्टेड अटैकिंग अ बिग फैट मैन विदाउट इवन केयरिंग ओके सो रहीम खान डिड नॉट डू एनी थिंग एक्चुअली दैट अटैक हैड अ had had some kind of an effect in uh, rahim uh, khan's heart rahim khan ke heart mein wo attack ne us attack mein thoda sa affect dala tha so rahim khan did not destroy the nest from next day certain change came inside rahim khan agle din se rahim khan ke andar ek change aaya every day you see from next day onwards every day after doing his work in the field as usual going to the field plowing as usual when rahim khan would return home he would lie on the bed and watch the sparrows to so, bistar pe let ke wo us sparrows ko dekhta tha mother and father sparrow fluttering the wing uh, fluttering in and out of the nest as usual okay. and now as time passed the baby sparrow uh, sparrows had also grown up to so, jaise jaise samay bitta gaya ye bachche sparrows bhi jo hai ye bade hote gaye ab बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग कहानी है देखिए मैंने कहा ना आई जस्ट टोल यू दैट फ्रॉम हियर एक्चुअली द स्टोरी स्टार्ट्स यू सी आपको याद है आई जस्ट टोल यू दैट रहीम खान हैड टू सन्स नूरू एंड बुंदू नाउ क्योंकि नूरू एंड बुंदू वेर नॉट देर इन दैड लॉन्ग टाइम बैक सो रहीम खान एक्चुअली नेम द बेबी बर्ड्स नूरू एंड बुंदू रहीम खान ने उन दो बच्चे स्पैरोस के बेबी स्पैरोस के नाम रखे नूरू एंड बुंदू Rahim Khan was obviously for the first time missing his two sons Nooru and Gundu and it has been a long time since he has seen them or has any contact with them to bahut samay beet chuka tha na to Rahim Khan ne beto ne Rahim Khan ke beto ne contact kiya Rahim Khan se apne pita ji se na to Rahim Khan ne usse koi contact kiya they never had communicated with one another for more than 6 years okay 6 years okay तो रहीम खान वॉज मिसिंग इज टू सन्स सो ही नेम द टू बेबी बर्ड्स नूरु एंड बुंदो आफ्टर इज टू सन्स दो स्पोर्स पैरोज वेयर नाउ हिज ओनली फ्रेंड्स वो दो वो जो चार स्पैरोज थे अब रहीम खान के वो ही चार दोस्त थे ओके दो फोर्स पैरोज वेर इज ओनली फ्रेंड्स अदर विलेजर्स हु वेर रहीम्स नेबर्स वेर सरप्राइज एट रहीम सडन चेंज ओके तो बाकी जो विलेजर्स थे जो रहीम के नेबर्स भी थे एक्चुअली अदर विलेजर्स हुए ऑल्सो रहीम्स नेबर्स दे वर सरप्राइज एट रहीम खान सडन चेंज अरे रहीम सडनली इतना चेंज कैसे हो गया हाउ ही बिकेम सो चेंज द चेंज वॉज दैट रहीम वॉज नो मोर अ क्रूएल पर्सन रहीम अब वो रहीम नहीं वो क्रूएल रहीम नहीं रहा रहीम वॉज नो मोर अ क्रूएल पर्सन ही डिड नॉट इवन बीट हिज ऑक्सन वो अब अपने बैल दो जो उसका बैल था टू ऑक्सन ही डिड नॉट इवन बीट दम नाउ He became very silent by nature. Rahim Khan was silent. हो गया, ठीक है? Now what happened? One monsoon evening, ठीक है? One monsoon evening, what happened? Uh, Rahim returned home early. Okay, एक monsoon evening को जो है, Rahim Khan घर पे थोड़ा सा जल्दी जल्दी आ गया. Because it was raining also, the weather was not good. It was cloudy, so Rahim Khan came home early. some children were playing on the street and obviously these children as you all know that rahim khan everybody was afraid of rahim khan so these children also they were playing suddenly when they saw uh, rahim khan coming they started running away after seeing him okay wo bacche rahim khan ko dekhe wahan se bhagne lage to rahim did not scold them normally he used to scold all the children but this time he did not scold them he called them and told them to continue their तो उसने बच्चों को बुलाया रहीम खान पुट दम इन साइड द अंडर द शेड तो एक शेड के अंदर जो है रहीम खान ने क्या किया अपने दो ऑक्सन को अंदर घुसा दिया टू ऑक्सन ओके तो रहीम खान इतना अच्छा हो चुका था इसी रहीम खान इट बिकम सो गुड एक्चुअली दैट इट स्टार्टेड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर ऑक्सीजन ऑक्सीजन 
एनीवेज इट स्टार्टेड टू रेन नाउ एंटरिंग हिज हाउस ही कॉल्ड फॉर द बर्ड्स अब वो स्पैरोस के साथ बात करता था नाउ ही यूज्ड टू टॉक विद द बर्ड्स एंड नाउ यू ऑल नो दैट ही गेव नेम्स टू द टू बेबी बर्ड्स नूरू एंड बुंदू ओके नूरू एंड बुंदू हिज सन्स एक्चुअली बट नाउ ही गेव दीज टू नेम्स टू द बर्ड्स एंड एवरी डे ही फेड देम विथ क्रम्स ऑफ ब्रेड ओके ही वुड बी कमिंग एंड गिविंग देम क्रम्स ऑफ ब्रेड के छोटे छोटे टुकड़े यू नो स्मॉल क्रम्स ऑफ ब्रेड ही वुड गिव टू द टू बर्ड्स बेबी बर्ड्स नूरू एंड बुंदू नाउ वॉट हैपन द बर्ड्स डिड नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड दे वेर इन साइड द नेक्स्ट ओनली बट दीज बर्ड्स जनरली दे केम एंड एट द ब्रेड क्रम्स बट दिस टाइम द बर्ड्स डिड नॉट कम एंड एट द क्रम्स तो रहीम खान फेल अरे वट इज रॉन्ग दीज बर्ड्स आर नॉट कमिंग सो ही वेंट टू चेक द नेस्ट वो गया वो नेस्ट को चेक करने के लिए and suddenly he saw because he lived in a thatched house na wo bas ka banaya hua patla sa ghar pe jo hai rahim rehta tha rahim stayed in a very small thatched house thatched to you know made of bamboo so there was leakage on the roof actually and say this is the nest inside the house this is the nest so water started falling inside the nest actually so he saw that the roof has began to leak near the sparrow's nest so bilkul sparrow ke paas mein kya hua कि रहीम खान के रूफ से फ्रॉम रहीम खान रूफ वाटर बिगेन टू देर वॉज लीकेज एंड वाटर बिगेन टू पोर नियर द स्पैरोस नेस्ट दैट इज वाई द स्पैरोस डिड नॉट कम आउट टू प्रोटेक्ट देम सेल्फ फ्रॉम द वाटर अब रहीम खान वॉज अ चेंज मैन ना सो रहीम ही इमीडिएटली क्लाइम्ड हिज रूफ टू रिपेयर द लीकेज ऑफ हिज रूफ तो रहीम खान रूफ पे चरा और उसको सील कर दिया ओके ही सील्ड द रूफ सो दैट वाटर डिड नॉट फॉल ओके सो दैट वाटर डिड नॉट फॉल उसने रूप को सीलिंग कर दिया एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस क्योंकि बारिश का पानी गिर रहा था उसके ऊपर कंटिन्यूसली इन दिस प्रोसेस ही गॉट फुल्ली ड्रेंच ड्रेंच मतलब हेविली वेट हेविली वेट ड्रेंच ओके इट्स गुड इंग्लिश नेवर से आई गॉट वेट से आई गॉट ड्रेंच ओके ऑब्जेक्ट्स गेट वेट बट ह्यूमन बींग्स वी गेट ड्रेंच ओके सो इन दिस प्रोसेस ही गॉट फुल्ली ड्रेंच इन द रेन Uh, because it took quite a long time to repair the roof so in that process the rain water fell on his body on his head and he started sneezing also okay but he did not care he went on repairing 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 but next morning when he woke up he woke up with high fever to agle din jab wo utha neend se when rahim woke up from his sleep the next morning he was having high fever so for several days uh, Rahim did not go to the field because he could not go to the field to plow because he was having extreme fever. So the villagers did not see him going to the field for several days. So some of them came to check what the matter was. So when the villagers did not see Rahim coming out of the house for many many days, or uh, many of the villagers thought that, "Arey, what happened to Rahim? He is not coming out of the house. Did something happen to him? क्या कुछ हुआ है उसके साथ?" okay so some of them so everybody see all of them did not come to check because rahim again rahim would behave badly with them so some of them came to check what the matter was but they did not enter his house koi uske ghar pe ghus ke usko pucha nahi nobody entered his house to ask him because rahim's behavior was not good everybody knows that so standing outside the house and through a crack in the door through a hole in the door crack in the door the villagers saw rahim lying on बेड तो विलेजर्स ने देखा कि रहीम तो बिस्तर के ऊपर लेटा हुआ है ओके बाहर दरवाजे पे एक क्रैक था थोड़ा सा टूटा हुआ था दरवाजा उसी क्रैक से जो है ने देखा रहीम वॉज लाइंग ऑन द बेड एंड रहीम वॉज एक्चुअली टेलिंग द बर्ड तो रहीम खान जो है वो स्पेरो से बात कर रहे हैं रहीम खान वॉज टॉकिंग टू द बर्ड एक्चुअली ओ बुंडू ओ नूरू हु विल फीड यू वेन आई एम गॉन गॉन हियर मीन्स डेड ओके सो रहीम वॉज टेलिंग द बर्ड That oh bundu oh nuru, to me, who will feed you when I will no more be there? When I will be dead? Now these villagers did not see the birds actually. These villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so the villagers only saw Rahim lying on the bed. Okay, so and he was talking to himself because you see nuru bundu this is the name of this is the name of his two sons rahim's two sons but here you see here 
Only Rahim knows. Nobody, no one else knows this thing. That Bundu and Nuru is actually who? Now the names of the two baby girls. So everybody thought that this Nuru and Bundu is Rahim's son. And because he was missing his son so much that he has gone mad now. Okay. And now he is talking to himself. Now the villagers became little concerned for uh, Rahim because his health was not good. So they decided to inform Rahim's wife to come and take care of Rahim. So villagers ne socha kyunki Rahim ka health achha nahi hai. So they thought socha let's inform his wife. Uske wife ko inform karte. Uska thora take care karne ke liye. Next morning Rahim's wife came crying with her two sons. So next morning Rahim ka Rahim ka jo wife hai, wo lot aya. She came back. Not only she. Even Rahim's two sons, Nuru and Bundu, the original Nuru and Bundu, they now came uh, the very next morning and Rahim's wife was crying. Okay, she was crying. Now, a group of neighbors had also collected outside his house. So, Aspas, jo log the, uh, Rahim's neighbors, okay, Aspas, Rene Wale, Log, Bobi Age, Rahim, ke ke bahar, they also had collected outside his house to check right, what the matter is. Now the door was obviously locked from inside. Darwaza to andar se band tha because Rahim had locked the door and slept. So they started calling him actually. They started calling him several times, knocking the door, knocking the door. But there was no response. So they had to break the door. Unko darwaza tor na bara. They had to break the door because even after calling several times, Rahim did not respond. So bahut baar bulane ke baad bhi jab Rahim ne koi respond nahi, response nahi ki even after calling for several times when Rahim did not respond, when when Rahim did not reply, they had to break the door. Ultimately, they saw that Rahim's big body. Now, what they saw is very shocking. They saw that Rahim's big body was lying lifeless on the bed and the four sparrows were fluttering. In other words, lifeless means, in other words, Rahim was dead. And here is where the story ends. So, Rahim ko ultimately family ka importance samajh mein aaya rahim came to understand the importance of family rahim came to understand the importance of relations rahim came to understand the importance of uh, being good being polite to fellow human beings okay because we are social animals right the moral that we have to learn from the story is that you see man is a social animal you have read this thing Many of you know this thing that man is a social animal. We live in society and society comprises of whom? Animals. No, society comprises of people. So we have to keep good relations with these people. We have to keep good relations with these people. So that when we fall into any difficulty, it will be these people only who will come to our help. These are the people actually who will come to our help. You see, students, we are all dependent on uh, somebody. You are dependent on teachers. Uh, I am dependent on something. We are not independent beings actually. We are not independent. If you think that I am independent. No, we are independent. We are all dependent. For, for, you see, for any eatable things, any edible things, vegetables, fruits, rice, pulses, we have to depend on the farmer. Right? For education, we have to depend on teachers. For our protection, we have to depend on police. We have to depend on army. So, we are dependent. So, you must never feel that I am independent. I don't need good relations with people. I am alone in this world. I will go alone. I have come alone. I will go alone. Yes, I have come alone. I will go alone. But in this, in between, in between life and death, it is with these people only. It is in this society only that we have to leave. We have to live and if we don't keep good relations with people, then people will not like us. Nobody will like us. Just like you see Rahim. You see people could have come and helped him. Right. His neighbors would have, could have come, called for the doctor or took him to the hospital and helped him. But because of Rahim's harsh behavior, no one dared, uh, you know, to help him. Kisi ke andar itna... Courage nahi tha ki wo aake Rahim ko help kare. Kyunki wo aayenge Rahim ko help karne. By chance if they even if they come to help Rahim. Rahim will tell something bad to them. Harsh, cruel to them. And they will feel bad. So they did not come to Rahim. Rather they called his wife. Wife came, children came. And by that time it was too late. Right. So 
this one one big lesson that we have to learn that we can learn from the story is that keep good relations with fellow human beings look at rahim how he how his life ended his life ended all alone and when he died there was nobody beside him when he was sick nobody was beside him to take care of this should not happen to anybody okay so here is where the story ends please do comment me in the comment box how you like the story kahani kaisa laga aap comment section mein zarur mujhe comment kijiyega and finally as i always do subscribe to the channel like and share my videos with all your friends and tell them also to subscribe to the channel uh, for notes i am slowly going to upload notes also um, on omnigan.blogspot.com and i'm there on facebook and instagram also you can uh, connect me there also okay so with love from omnigan and all the best to all of you i'm ending the live streaming i hope you have liked the story and if you have any doubts anywhere feel free to comment in the comment okay so with love from omnigan all the best to all of you thank you